This just in, I'm about to have a meltdown. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Some people watch the news to get caught up on politics. Others watch the news to find out what sort of dangerous behavior their teenagers are engaging in right underneath their noses. Yeah. Or, if you're like me, you watch the news exclusively to see randos come up behind reporters in the field and wave like idiots. Now, as for me, I watch the news to see anchors get fed up, throw out the story of the day, and have a two-year-old tantrum-sized meltdown live and on camera. It's time for... Okay, Link, I'm going to show you a brief clip of a newscast, and then we're gonna freeze the clip just before a meltdown occurs. I love this. And then this. you're gonna guess from multiple choices what actually happened in the meltdown. Okay, if oh. you correctly guess. So it's not what they're upset about, it's what happens when they melt down? Uh, it's gonna be like what happens. It's different questions about okay. the nature of the meltdown, okay. the cause of the meltdown. Okay, if you caress, uh, correctly- If, if I you caress, caress me, what? If you could, <laughs> no. If you caress me, you win no matter what. <laughs> but if you correctly guess half of these, I have to wear two full length newscasts. Those are arm Oh, casts. is that what these yes, are? Covered in newspaper. And if you don't, you have to wear them for Good Mythical More. Oh okay? gosh. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Here we go. First up, we have Isaiah Carey on assignment for Kark Channel 4 in Little Rock, Arkansas. Let's take a look. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? Uh-oh. <laughs> we're uh, talking about uh, a death. <laughs> what happens next? A. A bird poops on Isaiah's head, causing a full-fledged meltdown. B, a football flies over the fence and hits Isaiah in the head, causing him to freak out and yell at local children. C, a bug flies in Isaiah's mouth, leading to an expletive-filled rant. <laughs> or D, he gets an alert that he was outbid for a vintage Hello Kitty doll on eBay and breaks down in tears. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna show me one of these. And yes, Link. So I'm guaranteed to be happy, no matter yeah, 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 yeah. what I choose. Right, yeah, and then you're gonna caress me. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> I think a bug flies in Isaiah's mouth, leading to an excellent filled rant. All right, let's find out. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? <laughs> the f is that? I'm dying in this country ass fed up town. <laughs> flying in my mouth. The fuck I can't see pilot. Let's get the fuck out of this country, mother. <laughs> I can't even see that. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. You were right, Link. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was a lot. The bug had a transformative quality. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, mean, <laughs> you know, must, that must have been a magical bug. Yeah, well, fun fact: a girl from Augusta High School actually won that year's Miss Country Ass. <laughs> I couldn't understand that he said that. He said Country Ass. Oh, he did. Yeah. Uh, our next meltdown comes from famous sportscaster Chris Berman. Okay. It was a Monday night on ABC, which meant some football was a brewing, but so was a meltdown. Have a look. I mean, it's not that much to ask. <laughs> well, he, he's already upset. Uh, he asked for something. He didn't think it was a lot. What? Apparently didn't get it. What's Chris melting down about? Is it A, there was no coffee available and it was a five hour shoot. B, people behind the camera were moving around distracting him. C, they added a silly sound effect to a dropped catch. <laughs> D, there weren't three exact replicas of him in his dressing room, one made of cheese, one made of bread, and one made of salami. <laughs> I mean, it's not asking that much. <laughs> or too much to ask. Ah, oh, man. I think it's people moving behind the camera because that distracts the crap out of me. You need to stop it. That's my answer. <laughs> I'm doing TV and I got 18, God, can't everybody stop for 10 minutes? I mean, everybody seems that that's the only, everybody can we stick, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's not that much to ask. Is that when everybody has to move when I'm trying to concentrate? I mean, it's so rude, I can't believe it, that's, it's so God rude. Just, 
Why does everyone all of a sudden have to move? I've had two f***ing hours to move around. Wait 10 minutes. I, I, I really, I actually can't believe what I just saw. Not now. It's like no one here has worked on TV before. <laughs> he just kept going. Wow. I mean, at first I thought it was funny, and then I was like, oh, I started to feel bad for everybody. You know, if he doesn't... I'm so, I'm, I want to apologize, guys. <laughs> move around all you yeah. want. Like dance and jigs and all types of stuff. Well, I don't care. Here's the thing: if he's that upset about people moving around, why is he announcing sports? <laughs> <laughs> right. Think about it, Chris. All right. Being a weatherman is hard work. You have to stand in front of a fake map and be right about what you say mm. at least twenty percent of the time. Let's see CNN's Chad Myers in action, reporting on Hurricane Katrina. Filled in a little bit. Filled in with some air. <laughs> all right. All right. You got you, some air in the you equation. Don't, you don't have a whole lot to go on here, Link. But what is Chad about to freak out about? A. He forgets the name of the hurricane and says naming hurricanes is stupid. <laughs> B. The weather map temporarily disappears and he calls CNN cheap. Whoa. C. The news anchor interrupts him, causing him to yell, "Let me talk." Or D, he reveals that his ex-wife's name was Katrina and calls her a real cold front. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I hope I hope it's C, because I want to see him tell, tell the news anchor to let me talk. Okay, let's find out. In a little bit, filled in with some air, okay, not so as low of Chad, pressure, but Chad, Camille. Chad, but ca let me Trans talk, Carol. Translate that for us. I don't know what that means. What does that well, mean? Well, if you would let me talk. <laughs> get under a hurricane. All right, Carol. thank you, Chad. All right, just having fun with you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, he was not. Just, just having fun with you. No. Does that, does that fix it you all? Can, you, can, <laughs> you can tell, man. Yeah. He, they got some tension. Yeah, I think Chad might be a Category 5 a-hole. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Link, you're three for three. You've already won. I would put those on, but it would make the rest of the game difficult. Category 5 a-hole. <laughs> Here we go. Next up, we have Tom Dickerson, AKA Tailgate Jones, out on the streets of Texas as he reports for ABC 13 in Houston. Roll that tape. Uh, as you can see, there's construction underway here. Uh, okay. okay. Not a lot, yep, again, there's construction underway. Construction underway. What causes Tom Dickerson, AKA Tailgate Jones, to have a meltdown? A, the fact that he is reporting on heavy traffic in a town where there's always heavy traffic. B, the fact that he is reporting on the same construction that makes his own commute unbearable. Ooh. C, the fact that he's reporting on a bridge and thinks it is butt ugly. <laughs> or D, that he once auditioned for SNL, but Lauren said that he had a face for traffic. <laughs> Um, so B, that, that would that would explain a freak out because it really hit home for him, his own commute. Uh -huh. um, but I think he's actually mad at himself because A, he mentions heavy traffic, but then there's always heavy traffic. Mm. We were sent out here to do a story. To do a story about what? Uh, as you can see, there's construction underway here. Uh, they've dug out a little bit. There's water has accumulated. Traffic's backed up. In a city the size of Houston, there's always traffic. So what's the big deal? What the f are we doing out here? I asked you, what in the f are we doing here? <laughs> did that air? The dude went nuts, well, man. you're seeing it. He did not like his assignment. It is possible. I'm right, though. Yeah, you are. Hey, you're on a queen sweep, man. Yes. You are. I think by doing out here, he means living in Houston. <laughs> that's my that's my interpretation of that. All right, for our next great big meltdown, let's head to the Great White North, specifically British Columbia. This is global news meteorologist Christy Gordon doing the weather. Good old Christy. It will be a gradual drying trend for them. Still today, though, significant rainfall on the way. Significant rainfall on the way. What else is on the way? A, a freak out, man. A co-worker dressed as Jason Voorhees scares her from behind because it's Halloween. B, two dogs are set loose in the studio, which is not good because she's allergic. C, a giant spider shows up on the green screen backdrop behind her because of technology. Or D, Nickelback showed up to play their hit song because of you. Can't get enough of that. Now, uh, as an aspiring weather woman myself, uh -huh. uh, I know how green screens work and it's, there's nothing back here. It's over there or over there. So there wouldn't be a spider back there. That wouldn't scare you, is mm. all I'm saying. Okay. Two dogs and an allergy, that's a, that's a problem. <laughs> but I think it's simple. I think it's Halloween and the producer thought they'd mix it up a little bit, try to 
almost the ratings didn't work, but it is A. Well, Link, you don't know exactly how green screen works. Let's see. Still today, though, significant rainfall on the way and for mm. our area. So let's, ha oh my gosh, that was creepy. Oh, of course he had to be right on my head. Oh, I just don't like that. Okay, I gotta move. <laughs> Come on. No, I hate it. I can't stand it. You realize it's not there. Come on. You realize it's not, it's not there. Well, so she was looking over here and it freaked her out, I guess, because she saw the whole thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I do know about green screens yeah, and yeah, weatherman, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Well, she made the cameraman take the green screen, put it in a cup, and take it outside. Come on. It's not actually there. Oh. All right, Link, the queen sweep is dead. Dang it. But you can get this one right just for pride. Finally. Jordanian television network Seven Stars had two journalists on for a lively debate about the Syrian crisis. Have a look. Okay, might may be difficult for you to decipher Did what's going on. Not understand there. any of that. But what happens next? The debate gets so heated that a one of the men storms off set, knocking over the cheap background behind them. Mm. B one of the men throws his coffee mug at the other. Wow. C both men try to lift and throw the table at each other. <laughs> or D, one of their mustaches wiggles itself off and flies away screaming, I'm free! <laughs> C, if both men try to lift the table, then it's just a, a, like a raising table. Yeah, right. <laughs> I really want to see that. <laughs> trying to outlift a table. Okay, Two guys. you really want to see that? <laughs> I don't think that's my answer, but that's what I want to see. Uh, I think it's A but I want it to be C, so A. Okay. <laughs> well, what you wanted to see was correct. Every time I close my eyes now to go to sleep, I'm just gonna replay that in my mind. Well, that was beautiful. Well, here's the thing: when translated, it turns out they were just arguing about the placement of the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, it's very, just the top came very off. Very heated. Uh, the guy tried to kick at one point. Yeah. <laughs> Link, it doesn't matter. You won, and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is? It's Mitch, and I'm Chelsea. We just left Zion's National Park. Driving through Penguin, Utah, it's time to spin the, the Wheel, Wheel of Mythicality. Mythicality. There we are. Ooh. Way out in Penguin. Painted desert. Click the top link to watch us play Gentle Mouth Opener, Famous Headline Edition, and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. Keep your friends close and your phone closer with the Mythical and GMM Pop Sockets, available now at mythical.store.